Right, so uh, welcome back, Level 2 Physicists. Today we're going to talk about electromagnetism. The last lesson involved magnets. We're now going to introduce electricity and how electricity affects magnetic fields. So in 1820, Hans Ørsted noticed that a wire carrying electrical current caused a compass needle to deflect. Okay, so he had a compass underneath a wire when there was no current passing through that wire, then the compass pointed north. However, when Hans put uh, electricity current through the wire, the compass was deflected. Okay, so here I am. Um, today we're going to I'm going to use an example of a straight wire, a model of it, to show what happens when a magnetic field pattern, what, what magnetic field patterns occur around wires. The case being a straight wire. So here we have a current passing through a wire. And you can see a circular magnetic field forms around that wire. Okay, the magnetic field consists of concentric or ever-increasing circles centered around that particular wire, and the magnetic field is strongest near the wire. Notice they're closer together. The distance gets larger the further you go out. Okay, this is shown by the field lines being closest together near the wire and getting further apart the further out you go away from the wire and the strength of the field increases if the electric current is increased okay so this is where the right hand grip rule comes in so here we have our, our right hand and here is going to be an example of a wire okay so here we have a, a current with the current going up, and here we have the right hand, and we grip around the wire, okay, thus far, and we grip the wire with the right hand. The direction is placed, or the thumb is placed in the direction of the electrical current, okay, here we go, and the fingers show the direction of the circular magnetic field, okay, so here's my fingers here. That's the direction it's going around towards me. And that's the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. Right, so what we're going to do now is complete these diagrams below uh, with the assistance of a little prop I have here. Um, by first adding field arrows, adding current direction, adding the current direction, and adding field arrows again. So in terms of the field arrows, you've got to work out the direction of the current to start off with, so we can use the right hand grip rule. So that that, that remember that dot in the middle is the, the wire. Okay, so if the that, that circle in the middle has a black dot, it means that the electrical current is coming out of the page, it's coming towards you. Whereas if the electrical current is coming into the page or going away from you, then it must be a um, cross. And the way I remember this is through arrowheads or or quivers. So if an arrow is coming towards you or out of the page, then it's going to be a dot of the arrowhead. Whereas if the electrical current is coming into the page or away from you, then you're going to see the quiver. So it's as if you are shooting the arrow, so it's going away from you and into the page. Okay, so let's going to work through this now. So pause the video now, and then we're going to go through with my little prop I've got um, and work out the direction of the um, field arrows or the current direction using the right hand grip rule. Okay, so welcome back. So here we're going to use the prop. So this is our, our right hand obviously, and we're going to use the right hand grip rule to work out first the field line or the field arrows, the direction of the magnetic field around this wire. So it's a cross, so that means it must be going into the page. The direction of the current is going into the page, it's going away from you. Okay, so we have our right hand. This is the thumb, the direction of the current. So it means that if it's going to go, the current is going away from you, it means that the magnetic field must be moving clockwise. Okay, it must be moving clockwise. So that's the direction of your fingers. Okay. We'll just put them in. Okay, so for the second example, we know the direction of the magnetic field this time. 
but we don't know the direction of the current. So again, we set it up. So we know that <coughs> it must be going around like there. Okay, that's the direction of the current uh, magnetic field. Sorry, it's going anti-clockwise. So it means that the current must be going all towards you, not away. So we put in it's going towards you, so it must be out of the page. The arrow here that's coming towards you, it's a dot. Okay, so the corresponding example in the third example is that again you've got this wire and now told that it must be again anti oh sorry it must be clockwise the magnetic field the direction so it must mean that it must be going away from you so I'll start the arrowhead it's now a cross and the final example which you can probably work out logically now from the three other examples we have we have the again the wire we have our right hand and and it's now the coming towards you okay so notice the thumb is coming towards you the current so it means that it must be going anti-clockwise the opposite direction of the first example if you've been paying attention Ooh, that's not a very good error okay so it's always amusing to see the contortions that students do <laughs> during their uh, magnetic, electromagnetic um, external, trying to work out the best way to formulate using the right hand uh, grip rule. Okay. Okay, and there's the example, reinforcing it. And it turns out that we were right. Okay, so the first example was the straight wire. The next example is the flat circular coil. Okay, so here we have a flat coil, and the magnetic field pattern is generated by a, can be seen there, generated by the flat coil. Okay, you can see it's going, there's the plane view there. Okay. So you've got two wires, and it's basically a combination of the two wires to give the final current there. So the final example is the solenoid. And the solenoid is a wire, a coil of wire carrying electrical current. And there's a uh, illustration of that there. You might be familiar from electronics. Okay, and in short, the magnetic field is similar in shape to that around a bar magnet. Okay, you've got a north pole and a south pole. Reason being is that, of course, as you are doing the loops, the direction of the current changes, and therefore the direction of the magnetic field changes on one side compared to the other. And there's two things that affect the strength of the field in a solenoid. First thing is the current, so the higher the current, the higher the magnetic field and also the number of turns of that coil because if you increase the number of turns you're going to increase the strength of the magnetic field. Okay, we also have a right hand grip rule uh, this time for poles in terms of magnets because remember the solenoid looking at that it had a polarity uh, because it essentially behaved like a bar magnet so uh, the we, what we do is we grip the coil uh, of the solenoid coil with the right hand, okay, and the fingers are placed in the direction of the electrical current flowing around the coil. Okay, so here's the example this time. So we have the um, solenoid, and the thumb this time points towards the north pole. Um, okay, this is now facing towards the north pole of the solenoid. Um, which is now behaving like a bar magnet, and the current, as you can see, G, is going around the uh, solenoid, as thus far. Okay, so our final slide, uh, we're going to kind of test our understanding of this final right-hand grip rule with our friendly prompt here. Um, and we're going to first locate the north, then locate the south, at a current direction and finally add some coils. So pause the video now, see if you can work it out and then we'll come back and see if we're on the right track. Okay so welcome back. 
So the first thing is we're going to try and locate north. Now we know the direction of the current, but we need to find out the direction of the magnetic field, which we can use in the right-hand grip rule. Okay, so here's our solenoid. We are told that the... Um, here we go. We're told that the uh, magnetic... Oh, sorry, the current of the wires is going around this way. So we then just look at the direction of the thumb, and we know it's going from south to north. So it must mean that this guy here is the northern pole. Okay. Very much lots of contusions to get that one. Okay, so here's the solenoid again. We're told again that the wire, the uh, current in the wire is going this way. Okay, so it means that the thumb is pointing that way towards the north, so to find the south, it must be the opposite direction. So that's the south. And the current, again, we have the uh, solenoid. We're told that this is the north, so that the thumb should be pointing towards the north. So it means that the current is going this way, around. So it must mean that is the direction of the current. And the final example is adding some coils. So again, we have this. That's the north, so it must mean that the coils are going underneath that way. Okay, let's see if we are correct. Yep, that was north, that was south, that's the current direction, and finally that must be the correct way. Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's lesson. Uh, next lesson we'll be looking at practical applications of electromagnets.